Best practices for UC monitoring with NetScout smart data. Where are the best places to deploy visibility to instrument unified communications to help you solve problems faster? Whether home working contact center staff are talking to customers or colleagues in HQ, people in the HQ talking with branch offices. For UC to work, there are many dependencies in the service chain to firstly get a connection and secondly, to make sure that the call experience is the best it can be. There's lots to go wrong, so fixing things is hard, especially if you don't know exactly where to look. That's why it's critical to have the right visibility in the right place to determine the root cause of issues or the domain of the issues so you're not chasing problems that are clearly someone else's. NetScout ASI technology generates metrics or smart data on signaling and core quality. It watches this in both directions so it can determine where the problems originate. Additionally, with multi-point visibility, different legs of the call can be stitched together by Ingenious One. This pinpoints the problem and establishes at which point and in which direction along the core path the degradation originated. So where in my infrastructure do I put this visibility? Here's a typical architecture. The customer, home workers, branch, HQ and contact centers attaching across multiple technologies, PSTN, mobile, SIP trunks, internet, WAN, SD-WAN to the data center, which hosts a lot of the communication servers. Some of these may even be in the cloud. As you can see, there's lots of edges or demarcation points to help differentiate issues. And that's where to deploy NetScout instrumentation. Let's start at the edge of the data center. In front of the session border controller gives you a view of the performance of the SBCs and the quality coming in and out of your SIP trunks. This will answer questions. Is it your issue, a problem in the SPC? It can't cope with the load. It's not reclassifying COS correctly. Or is it a problem on the outside of your data center and with the SIP trunk provider themselves? At the voice gateway, the entry and exit point for communication to the PSTN or mobile users. This determines if it's your issue or to do with the end users. Visibility at the on-prem UC equipment, specifically core managers and front-end servers where the key signaling setup originates. This provides information to determine the reasons for the core setup problems and core drops. Instrumenting by media bridges where the voice video conferences are controlled provides a view on the quality from multiple users attending conference calls. Moving on to the home worker, their calls using Enterprise UC will still come into the data center. So instrumenting at the edge, the data center internet pipe will tell you how it's coping with all the traffic coming into it. Does it need to be upgraded? Visibility at the VPN concentrators will help you diagnose its health. Is it being overburdened with the increased load demanded on it by the home workers? Does it also need upgrading? Where home workers are not using VPNs for voice video, they still may have a direct connection over the internet to an edge gateway. So visibility at that point makes a lot of sense for the same reasons. These instrumentation points will provide vital evidence to IT to establish that the core quality is degraded due to something in the home, internet, or somewhere within the data center itself. One more point for the home worker. Instrumenting smart data at the home worker location itself may well not be practical, but that's where synthetics come into play. Ingenious Pulse leveraging endpoint deployed on the home worker PCs can give insight into the performance of the services, including UC, from the home worker's perspective. Whether using synthetics or using smart data, by correlating the home workers with their ISP connectivity provides IT with the perspective of the performance of the different ISPs involved and can go a long way to understanding general ISP performance. Moving away from the data center and home worker, instrument where the bulk of your users are, the HQs and branches. This will get a view of the performance from those locations and provide more granular information to pinpoint the problem. By combining the instrumentation points either side of a WANs between say a branch and the HQ through the data center, you can take advantage of NetScout's multi-point core stitching capability, which will establish at which point the core quality started to degrade. That's faster service triage and stops finger pointing. Visibility deployed in the contact center with many agents in a single location provides quality metrics from the agent's perspective to help identify a problem with the agent's equipment or something at the far end. It will also pinpoint issues with other UC server components often deployed in contact centers, such as SBCs connecting to SIP trunks or gateways to the PSTN. Of course, nowadays, many contact center agents are now home working. So visibility there can be instrumented in the same way as discussed earlier. 
as I said, you see it's pretty complex. With a fair number of moving components and domains, many of these centralized around the data center. Start by considering the main aggregation points such as core managers, SPCs, gateways, then broaden the strategy in the data center and then HQ, branch and contact center locations as you require finer service triage. With the right visibility in the right places, you get a holistic perspective of the performance of your UC service. Combine that with Ingenious One workflows and solve voice and video quality problems faster in this complex UC world.